Welcome to lesson seven. This is Phenomena of Waves. We are in our energy unit and we have been talking about all things energy. Um, and in our previous two lessons, we started talking about waves. We learned that there's two types of waves. We have mechanical waves and we have electromagnetic waves. Remember, they both carry energy. So all waves carry energy, but mechanical waves carry energy through matter. Um, and electromagnetic waves do not require a medium or do not require any matter to travel. So there's some similar similarities and differences that we learned about with regards to the two types of waves. Now we're going to talk about what can happen when these waves meet obstacles. So we call this phenomena of waves because these are some things that happen when waves meet obstacles or barriers. So a wave can be reflected, it can be refracted, it can undergo what we call diffraction, and then it can undergo interference, which we're going to talk about today. So let's start with refraction. Make sure that you get all four of these wave phenomena in your notes, a definition and an example for each. So refraction by definition is the bending of a wave. And these waves bend because they change their speed when they move from one medium to another. So when a wave is traveling through a medium and then it happens to change medium, it's going to cause a bend in the wave. Um, because the wave is going to change speed. So we can see this here in the example of the straw in the cup of water. It appears that the straw looks bent because the light wave is traveling through the air and then when it hits the glass it slows down and so it looks as if it's a bend to the observer. Um, you do need to know one neat thing about light waves is they travel in a straight line. So when a light wave hits a different medium, it's going to slow that wave down, and so it's going to create a bend in the light wave, which we see as refraction. You can see that here and in the example of a prism. So that is refraction. With reflection, um, you need to understand that we see things, the things that we see, the colors that we see, are a result of the reflection of those materials to our eyes. So reflection occurs when a wave bounces back from a surface towards a source. Now, because we have that bouncing of waves, we have um, angles made in those waves. And so we're going to talk about the law of reflection. Um, reflection is how we see color. So the color of an object appears depending on the color of light that it reflects. So this book that we see in this illustration, if we're looking at it, appears to be red. All the waves of the electromagnetic visible light spectrum come in. So remember Roy G. Biv. So you have all seven colors of light coming in. But when we see the color red, it's because all the colors have been absorbed except red. So because red's being reflected into our eyes, that is the color that we observe. So if you look at these pants um, and you notice that they are purple, that is all the colors of the light waves being absorbed except purple or a combination of purple light. So the colors that we see are colors that are reflected from visible light. Now, when you see the color white, that is a reflection of all seven colors. So when we see something as white, we're seeing all seven colors of visible light reflected back in our eyes. So answer this question for me. If that's true, then what happens in order for us to see the color black? And if you guessed um, that that would be all the colors of the electromagnetic spectrum, being absorbed, then you are correct. So we see white when all the colors are reflected. We see black when all the colors are absorbed. All right, so the next wave phenomena that we're going to talk about is diffraction. So remember, refraction is when a wave bends because it changes mediums. Reflection is when a wave bounces off of a, of a material. 
Diffraction occurs when a wave hits an obstacle and that wave has to change direction and or bend around the obstacle. So diffraction and refraction both cause a wave to bend, but they are very different. So the difference is that refraction occurs when the wave passes through an object. Diffraction happens when the wave passes around or through an object. So you can see in the picture on the left here, there is a light source coming in from the left and there is an obstacle in the way. Light can't travel through this object, but it can bend around it. So you can see the pattern of the light bending around the round obstacle and then diffracting out. Another great example of this would be like if you're in a dark room and there is a lighted room on the other side, sometimes you can look under the crack of a doorway and see that light diffracting through. So the light can't get past the door, but it can find openings or holes and diffract through. Um, again, you can see in the picture on the right, you have waves coming in. There's two obstacles um, coming in from the side, and the wave can't go through it, but it can fit through the opening and then diffract back out. So diffraction happens when a wave bends around or finds another way to get around or through an obstacle. The fourth type of wave phenomena that we're going to talk about is interference. So this is when two or more, wa more waves come together. So when a wave meets another wave, two things can happen. They can be constructive where the waves come together and the crest of one wave adds to the crest of another and you get a larger wave or they can destruct one another. So if you have the crest of one wave meet the trough of another wave, they will actually cancel one another out and we call this destructive interference. So if we need a visual representation of what this looks like, on the left you can see you have two waves that meet, the crest of one lines up perfectly with the crest of another and so you get a larger wave. Destructive interference is when the crest of one wave might meet the trough of another. If they cancel out, then the wave destructs. That completes our lesson over a phenomenon of waves, um, and I will see you in the very next lesson.